All right, guys, welcome back to Rome Reviews. I'm Rome, and this is the Vivo X200 Ultra. And today I just want to uh, address a bunch of questions I've gotten around uh, me CTS and how it works with uh, circular search and why everybody keeps getting that trigger failed message when they try to uh, make it work. So what we're gonna do is jump over to the overhead camera and let's go ahead and get this thing explained and what's going on. So first things first, I was testing it out to see specifically what it is using to trigger circle to search. So you go into Gemini and what I did was I started just uninstalling apps. I went to Gemini so first things first, let's do this. And if you don't care about any of the why and you just want the fix, <laughs> I'll put timestamps in here to where uh, the fix comes in. So go in and where is me CTS? Let's see, here it is. It works. Nice, okay. So we, we've explained, we, we understand that it works now. So what we'll do is, I was testing out and saying, hey, which app is it actually using to trigger circle to search? Because I had Assistant installed when I first did this. I had Gemini installed and I just, I didn't know. So I uninstalled and I went in and I triggered it again. I said, hey, um, I don't think I have my navigation. Yeah, it's, it is. So, yep, it still works. And Gemini is not even installed anymore. So I said, okay, okay, um, it must be using Assistant. So I went in and I uninstalled Assistant. And I went in and triggered it again. And it still works. It, I didn't get the trigger failed. So what I figured out is that it is using the Google app itself. So if I uninstall the Google app, I get trigger failed at the top. You see that? So now i understand why you guys are getting that message so what you have to do is all right guys so as i said uh we're gonna go ahead and jump to the fix for this so what you're gonna do is go into the play store and you're gonna search for google the basic google app and you're gonna install that and once it is installed you're gonna go ahead and open it and i want to show you something so you don't freak out when it first starts up so when you open it you're going to go and click on your profile profile picture and you're going to go down to settings and i'll allow it whatever but what you're going to see here is you're going to see google assistant and you should see gemini which means this menu is not fully populated yet you need to give it some time either go back check it again and it still hasn't populated and you may have to completely just go ahead and close the app itself. Go over and find it. And let's try to go back in again and see if it's populated yet. So now you see Gemini popped up there. So what you want to do next is you, you can click on Gemini and you can choose to use it. But you need to go down in this menu and go to Digital Assistance for Google. And you can choose to use the Google Assistant or you could use Gemini. But no matter which one you choose you need to go here you see down below there's a little hyperlink here that's underlined and blue when the google app is your android default digital assistant you could choose what a gemini google assistant responds to your touch blah 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 blah, blah. so you're going to click on that that highlight a link and you see it'll take you into a menu on your phone the default digital assistant you can also go into settings and search for that but anyway you're going to click on that and you're going to choose google and you're going to click ok because it says that this will be able to read what's on your phone and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, obviously, because you're going to be doing circular search and needs access to your phone. So you're going to choose Google. And then once you come out of there, me CTS will work. Now you got your circular search active and your trigger failed message should no longer appear. Um, I did go into how to set it up to make it to where you can click on the bottom of your phone and make it do the full circular search without having to click on the me CTS or you can add me cts into this sidebar menu to where you can do circular search that way there are a number of ways you can do it whichever way works best for you you can go up go that route but yeah i just wanted to show you guys how to fix that so if you open the google app and you don't see gemini there that means the menu is not fully populated just give it time close the app out and go back in and that is the fix for you guys i just want to address that really quickly okay 
Really appreciate everybody tuning in and feel free to like and subscribe for more content like this. If there's anything that you guys want to see uh, me try to make work on this phone, if I can figure out how to get it to work, I will make a video on it for you guys. So feel free to drop a comment down below and I'll catch you in the next one. All right, later.